arms up. Thank you very much. That's Adam Schulman on the piano. My name is John DeVersa. I am uh, very honored to be with you here tonight uh, for the series. Uh, I just flew in uh, from Miami uh, this morning and uh, very, very uh, grateful to get to present this music to you tonight. So I've been asked to present, oh, by the way, so this song that we just played is called In Your Own Sweet Way. How many of you knew that song by chance by Dave Brubeck uh, from this area? You go. Uh, one of my very favorite songs uh, to play, he wrote that for his wife, uh, and you can't help but feel the, the beauty and the authenticity, the sincerity in that, in that melody. Uh, so I've been asked to present uh, and talk about uh, the music of the last record of mine that I put out last year. Uh, which is called American Dreamers, Voices of Hope, uh, Music of Freedom, which was to uh, highlight uh, something that ha has happened in our country, uh, the uh, DACA Act. There are so many dreamers uh, that live in this country, children that have been uh, brought to this country at a very young age uh, as children, and now they don't have a uh, path for uh, citizenship and so we were trying to look in the news and then you know you see these things happen and, you know I'm, I'm not a, I'll tell you right now I'm not a very political person but I certainly understand the human story and uh, my heart went out to these uh, children that have been living here in the state since they were two years old they, they went to school here they're working here uh, yet they live in, in, in fear uh, for being uh, uh, deported and going back to a country that they've never lived in. And so I wanted to get to know these folks and, and I tell you what, the only thing I really know how to do is make music. So I thought, well, maybe we can make some music and, uh, and highlight, as I said, the, the story of the, of the human uh, living in these uh, circumstances. So the story of the album is that we, we took themes of, of, of America and immigration uh, in, in songs that we know, and, and then I, and, and also the production team, we found 53 dream, dreamers across the country, uh, many of which were musicians to participate uh, in the record. And I went to, just like I've come here today to, to this area, I, whenever I would have a gig in the area, then I would find out where the dreamer organizations were and try to, uh, to meet some dreamers uh, and have them participate on the record. So I wrote all the music even before I knew who the dreamers were going to be. And uh, it was been just an amazing journey to get to know all these incredible folks, these courageous folks. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the writing uh, from the record. And the record was actually last year had received three Grammy Awards, which I'm so, uh, I'm so proud of there were so many, uh, so many people involved with, with the making of this record. So I'm going to take you through one of the first songs that we did, uh, and that was uh, we decided to do Living in America, uh, which was uh, sung by James Brown from Rocky IV. Anybody see Rocky IV? <laughs> uh, that's where he goes to Russia and, you know, conquers all of his demons. And, uh, so James Brown comes out and sings this, this song, Living in America, doing all this James Brown stuff. Um, and, and so I thought it would be a, a cool place where I could get a choir of, of, uh, of dreamers to sing. And so whenever I'd go to these cities, I went to 17 different states, uh, and, and, uh, and when I'd have them sing in the choir. Some, some were really fabulous musicians, and some were I'd have them play some percussion and sing. Uh, and so, let me get this going here. But well, one of the first uh, DACA recipients that I met was named Salvador. And Salvador, we found him because he is a, he was a, 
clarinet major at the uh, University of Indiana. And he's a very, very fine clarinet player. And so I had, but he was a classical uh, clarinet player and I had to figure out how to uh, find a place for him in the music uh, to do his thing. And so you're going to hear him. I'm going to tell you a little bit about his story. Um, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the music. So this is, hopefully this will play. Here's Salvador telling about his story, playing some clarinet. I'm playing piano in the back. My name is Salvador. I am a dreamer. I was brought from Mexico to the States at age three, and I'm a clarinetist. The parts I remember from that journey are the airport. All I knew at the time was I finally get to go see my mom and dad again. They were already in the States before me. I didn't really know up until seventh grade I was an undocumented child. That's when my parents warned me, sorry, you're not like your friends. I'm just like, what? What do you mean? I don't understand. Sixth grade, it's a time where students get to try out all the instruments. My band director handed me a clarinet. For the first two years, I really didn't like it because I wasn't good. But I practiced, and then I started to fall in love with the instrument. I decided I want to pursue music as a career. Our band would go to other university concerts, and I was just mesmerized by how fast the clarinets were playing. When they played more lyrical pieces, I almost teared up. I was like, wow, if I could be on stage and make someone feel that way, that's a job I want to have, you know? It's just like, I want to do this for a living. last year and he's just about to finish his master's degree now in clarinet performance also at the uh, University of Indiana. He's doing great um, and playing in the symphony there and uh, doing well. So this goes into uh, Living in America. I'm going to play you the track here so you can hear it. So it starts off with, y'all know what the Fibonacci sequence is? So it starts with these James Brown hits, you know, on these uh, altered chords and so it's it's one one and then one two and then one two three and then three plus two is five one two three four five and then five plus three is eight and then one two three four five six seven eight and so I've got this uh, Fibonacci sequence happening all the way through the chart uh, because the idea was that it's expanding ever expanding the the word we're spreading the word about uh, spotlighting spotlighting these uh, these humans that are living with us that we need to do right by. And I'll tell you more as it's going along with this here. Here's Living in America. This piano solo is 
piano player's name is Tom Cohen. And he just received uh, a green card through the uh, artist, a genius green card, which is very rare. He's from Australia and Israel, both. You can hear the hits, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One. One. Senegal. His name is Khalif, and he's an incredibly talented human being. He's a rapper. And we had him come in and call out the cities, just like James Brown did on the original. But what we did is we called out the cities that many of the dreamers were there from. Lubbock, Texas. Uh, you'll hear him here. And then we go into a completely different field because uh, we're such an incredible melting pot here. And so while we were inside this funk thing, it's going to go to more of an Afro, I don't know what Caribbean, uh, Latin influences groove uh, while the dreamers are singing some things in some different languages. So check it out. And also you can hear on trombone play, there's another dreamer named Denzel that's from uh, from Oregon.
it was a party. Uh, oh, thank you. All is one. So, another tune that we did that I thought would be an interesting inclusion on this record is uh, Don't Fence Me In. <laughs> Y'all know who, who wrote that song? Yeah. You got all the answers. Cole Porter. That's right, Gold Porter wrote that song. You watch the old Roy Rogers show? Yeah. <laughs> So, so this was one of the one of the songs that was on Roy Rogers' show for for so long. I grew up in Oklahoma. Uh, when I was a kid, we moved there when I was about seven years old, and, and I lived there till I was about fourteen. And so this was a song that that I heard a lot. Uh, Don't fence me in with the horse. I wanna roll with the horse. Tick clock, tick clock, you know. Uh, and then I found out later, after I had already chosen the tune that this song was used uh, in World War II after Pearl Harbor and they had all of these Japanese American uh, internment camps at that time. And the Japanese Americans would play this song out the speakers. Uh, which seemed appropriate for this, for this moment. Um, so, and also the person that uh, we're featuring on this, on this tune, she plays a little bit of piano, her name's Saba. I'm going to play you her story here, too. She lives in Lubbock, Texas, and uh, her country of origin is Pakistan. Let me play this for you. This is Saba going into Don't Fence Me In. My name is Saba, and I'm a dreamer. I was brought to America at age 11 from Pakistan, and I play piano and sing. stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and this executive order went to effect in 2012. We undocumented young Americans who were brought to this country when we were children are known as dreamers. 90% of us are either students or have a job. Because of DACA, I was able to receive a work permit, social security number, and a driver's license. Just being able to drive without fear that I could be pulled over and arrested is a huge deal. Because of DACA, I've been able to pursue my education. I'm a PhD candidate studying mathematical biology and speak five languages. In September 2017, I learned that DACA was ending. I was devastated. I was provided an opportunity for which I was so grateful, and all of a sudden, it was just taken away. My hope is that one day the DREAM Act will be passed. It would give me and so many young Americans a path to citizenship and certainty so that we can continue to give back to our country. I grew up playing classical music, but jazz is different. You can experiment and just be free. You can even play notes that aren't on the page.
solo and I'm going to play you a little bit of it so I start off and we play the tune and we play it in, in, in three in, in three quarter time and then the solo starts and it's chaos and it's completely free jazz and there's no structure there's a little bit of time but we can go anywhere we want to go it's completely free of anything until the moment where we all start coming together and I start doing some call and response and I play some some blues uh, Vocabulary. And we all come together and get back on track.
I'd like to play you one, one other thing here. Uh, this is a poem that was written by Woody Guthrie uh, of Oklahoma, actually. And there was a, a plane wreck in Los Gatos, in this area, uh, almost 70 years ago now. And the plane was carrying several immigrant uh, farm workers, and they were taking them uh, back to Mexico. They were working, working the, the orchards up here. And what Woody Guthrie responded to in this plane crash was that in the newspaper, especially the Sacramento Bee, uh, in the newspaper the next day they reported on the crash. And they listed, you know, the, the pilot and uh, basically everybody that was on that plane and also deportees. And so he wrote this poem that uh, is within the the folk music canon. And so I wanted to try and find a way to reimagine it in, in an orchestral sense. And so <clears throat> you're going to hear that. And I found a wonderful singer that's out of, uh, also from Texas, actually. Uh, originally, her country of origin is uh, Venezuela. I'm going to let you hear Daisy's story, and then it's going to go into deportee. My name is Daisy, and I am a dreamer. I was brought to the United States when I was nine years old from Venezuela, and I love to sing. My sister had a tumor, and my sister's medical treatment was in Houston. My mom and I came here in 1991. I was 11 years old, and I started going to a church. And this lady said, Daisy, why don't you join your sister? And I said, no, I'm awful. I'm off key. Believe me, you. I was. But that lady believed in me so much that somewhere along the way, things just connected. She would tell me, the music is inside of you and you have to let it come out. With my family now, I have two young daughters, a six and a seven year old, and they're musically inclined. One of them plays the piano, they sing, they dance. My husband plays the guitar. As a family, that's something that we enjoy doing and it, it just brings laughter and unity and it brings hope to us. tell you because of the lyrics, the content, it was really difficult to get through these sessions because Stacy was very emotional. Like others, like masters and thieves. We died in 
hearing me talk. Thank you. And the team of the piano. My name is John Bavisa. I do have some CDs and vinyl actually out there too. I'm happy to come and, and sign them and uh, come meet you. Uh, I would very much like that. So I hope to see you after the show. And if you want us to play anything more, you know, you just let us know. We'll, <laughs> we'll do that too. All right, so this is Denzel, the trombone player who I mentioned before, and he's going to introduce Start My name is Denzel, forever. and I am a dreamer. I was brought to America at age five from Singapore, and I play trombone. My family came here legally through my father's work visa. I was one of the four elementary school students in my school to be chosen for this choir performance. I remember one empty seat, and it was my father. The next day, we find out that he just left. I didn't pick trombone. Trombone picked me. I was the only trombonist in middle school. I felt like if people saw me with this trombone, they'll notice me. My high school jazz band was brought to New York City to perform at Berkeley. That trip just inspired me to go for it. This is your passion. Make it into a conservatory. I did it. I, I got accepted to the new school. Attending the West Point graduation of my cousin was one of the most beautiful things I've ever witnessed. You had paratroopers coming in from the sky. I wanted to be a cadet. I saw an army recruiter. I asked him, can I join the army? He saw that I was under DACA. And after he heard that, he said, no, you can't be an active service member. So I should tell you, this arrangement won the Grammy this year for Best Instrumental Arrangement. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.